Hello everybody, I'm back with a small bead haul from a local bead store. This time it's a little bittersweet because unfortunately this bead store is going out of business. So um, I went to check out and see what they had. They had a lot of things on sale for 50% off and uh, they were also doing a trunk show which was not part of the sale but um, they had some really spectacular beads. So this is my very last bead haul from the bead hive in, in my hometown. So stay tuned, we'll go through all of this one at a time and I'll show you what I got. So the first thing I picked up on their 50% off sale was seed beads. They offer a really great quantity um, for a good price and this was 50% off. So I picked up two, these actually are two different types of greens. Um, this is just a uh, green silver line. I love the chartreuse green. I actually have some in my stash already, but I use it so much I was happy to get a second one for backup. And then this one I got because I also use this color green. This has, uh, I don't know if you can tell in the, in the camera, this has a rainbow luster finish on it. Um, so I picked up some of that. They had this really pretty orange color. And these are all 11 OC beads. And a nice opaque red luster. And I, I've been having trouble finding the right kind of red that I'm looking for. So this comes pretty close. I was happy to find this. Because I'm not usually looking for fire engine red. And um, this kind of is almost like a strawberry red or um, not really brick, but it's, it's just, it's a nice red and I like the luster on it. And then these are opaque red Picasso and I really like the finish on these. And again, it's that nice deep kind of brick red with the Picasso finish, very autumn -y. And then there were also some glass beads. So I just picked up, I don't even know what you would necessarily call this shape because it's not really a round and it's not a rondelle, uh, but it is faceted and it's a pretty color turquoise. And then these, I think they're three millimeter uh, rounds, glass beads in pink. And it's kind of a, like a little bit of a marbled pink. It's very pretty. So that ends the 50% off sale. Now these came from the trunk show. And I had, the last time I was in the bead hive, um, I had picked up, they were either four or six millimeter sardonyx beads. And so I found these in eight millimeter. And they are somewhat faceted they're rounds but they're faceted and i picked up two strands because i just love the variation and the striations in the in the bead they're just absolutely gorgeous these are more sardonyx beads they're called lantern faceted but they do kind of look a little bit like the Art Deco cut that I've been seeing around. So, um, and like an almost like a cathedral bead, but without the, um, the end caps, um, the metal end caps. But um, again, I thought it was a gorgeous cut. I love the sardonyx. These will make um, definitely a necklace and um, very pretty earrings. I could probably do a bracelet too, because I bought two strands. So I've got enough to work with. And this is 10 millimeter round rainbow tiger eye. And let me see if I can adjust the lighting in the camera so you can really see some of the coloring here. Um, again, these really just stood out to me because it's a, you know, they have these deep, beautiful blues and purples in them and um, and they have the, the tiger eye look to them so it kind of makes them look a little iridescent, almost like little galaxies. Um, 
And I'm honestly, um, one of the things I'm trying to uh, do a little more of is learn wire wrapping. And so there is a wire wrapping tutorial that I saved on YouTube that um, I think these would be perfect for to make a pendant um, out of. So that's everything for my bead haul for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you like this video, please check the please hit the like button, subscribe for more updates, and um, hope to see you back here soon.